Ziggy played guitar. From handwritten lyrics scrawled onto scraps of paper to the original costumes he wore on stage, these, along with never-before-seen photographs and film footage, offer new insight into one of our most influential and enigmatic performers. Simply titled David Bowie Is, this exhibition is an Aladdin's cave for his fans and even for those who know him well. Oh yes, there's a picture of me. There you are. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Do you like the boots? I like the boots. Uh, you know, I used to wear those to art college, you see, and uh, <laughs> David and I wore them all the time. George Underwood and Bowie grew up together in Bromley. Their first gig was at the Cub Scouts. Later they formed more serious bands, but then George went into art. David carried on with music. It's uh, bringing back lots of memories, yeah, yeah um, especially the early, very early stuff and uh, hadn't seen the light of day for many years. And, uh the, the Ziggy character, uh, you know, I, I, knew, I knew best, if you like, because we went on that 72 tour, my wife and I, and that was watching the Americans, you know, what is that? You know, they couldn't believe it. George became Bowie's illustrator, designing now iconic album covers including Hunky Dory and A Space Oddity, with ideas provided by David himself. I kept this drawing for years and years, and then it was only a few years ago when I said to David, I, I think I'm going to put it on eBay, and he said, no, you don't. <laughs> and so uh, we came to an arrangement. Just <laughs> and, as well. <laughs> This epic room rather reflects the epic nature of this exhibition. Almost 300 pieces of original Bowie memorabilia and almost all of it came from Bowie's own personal archive. And to think, most of it was in a warehouse in New York. Saved over five decades, letters from his mum and scrapbooks made by those who idolised him. Fascination hasn't waned. The show, extended by a month already, is the fastest selling in the V&A's history. And this week, Bowie scored his first number one album in 20 years. It looks like the world's gone Bowie mad, David. Um, has this got anything to do with you? And he uh, emailed me back saying, uh, got nothing to do with me, Governor. <laughs> <laughs> And because he has had so many alter egos over the years, perhaps this exhibition will help us find out more about the real David Bowie. Lucrezia Millerini, ITV News.